All right, here we go. Feliz cumpleaños. And for you white people, that means happy birthday, motherfuckers. Just kidding. Not the motherfuckers part. Anyways, so yeah, it's uh, April 4th, 2017. I am, uh, it's my birthday today. And uh, the theme of today's trading is that I had a great thesis, but very sloppy executions. So let's review that. First one would be CYCC, huge pop play today. Um, here is the daily chart right here. Um, I was looking to dip by this. It was on my watch list. It was on my screen. Um, so you'll see right here, it gapped up huge. Um, so I expected it to fail right at the open since it was gapping up so much because basically anything that gaps up huge lately has been failing at the open. No shares to short on this unless you have that high speed broker that uh, you need lots of money to have. That's why Ducks is able to short that shit. Anyways, so you see this U-shaped pattern. It found support, started making lower highs. I want to give a big shout out to Mark Crook. Uh, thanks to him, I, he, I was in Tim's chat room. He alerted that it was starting to run, breaking out of consolidation. And I got in at 7.53 right here on this big candle right here. I got in at 7.53, got an absolutely great ex entry on this, um, on this spike. And uh, I'm not much for going long, but I took the long position. This is what I was looking for was the dip buy opportunity. And I bought it. And I sold like a little girl into this spike at 8.15. Um, and now that I'm looking back at it, I mean, gosh. I mean, literally I was, I was wanting to hold at least to the high of day, which would have been like 8.30. But I just got out. Uh, this is a low flow play. I, I, you know, it could have. I mean, look at this. Oh my God! It went to ten dollars. It went to almost eleven. Ugh! Makes me sick thinking about how much I missed out on. I mean, these are all green candles. There's no red candles until you get to the, until you get to the nines. Uh, I don't know why I didn't have the balls to hold. Um. So there, I don't really have an explanation. I mean, it's overextended on the RSI when it's spiking. And, I mean, this action moves so fast, though. Whatever. I mean, I booked almost a 10% win on it. I should be thankful for that. But, good thesis. I just had a terrible execution. I just needed to sit there and hold for a little. I should have at least, at minimum, uh, sold half my position and then see what the other half does. So I should have done that. That would have been a good compromise. Anyway, so that was CYCC. Next one was uh, AKTX. AKTX. So this one I've traded a couple times. I've been done pretty good on the short side on it. Um, and today, you know, let's look at it from the daily chart. Get a broader perspective. So it's been running up from the 6s all the way up to the 13s. It's doubled in the last three days. Um, it's putting in, uh, what would you call this? It's not a doji, but uh, it's called what? A spinning top. This this kind of, this candle right here is called a spinning top. And, uh, you know, or you could call it, you could call it almost a bearish uh, Hamari between these two and this one see this 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 longer body is engulfing this smaller body uh it's a bearish and it's kind of coiling uh, so i mean i really think this thing is run out of steam um i shorted it i i got in way too early in the morning held it all day long um i have a lot of conviction though that this thing is going to fail uh and today i I mean, even though it shows that it's green here, I think it actually finished slightly red on the day. Um, so, it faded off off its highs. had this huge spike yesterday. It faded off. Um, 
I thought this thing was going to have a morning panic, but it didn't. I made the mistake of not letting the chart develop, and I just hopped right in and got a terrible execu uh, terrible execution at 11.20. So, and then it spiked up. I held through this squeeze. You know, I'm under the PDT, under the pattern day trader rule. Otherwise, I probably would have added here and then maybe covered down here. Um, but, you know, since it didn't meet my, my, uh, my profit goals, I didn't cover into this panic into the when it broke 11 because I thought it could really keep going. And then it had this crazy spike in the end. But if you look at the volume on it from the daily chart, you can see that volume is really, really diminished. So it needs volume to run. So I think that this thing is really going to break down tomorrow. Um, I think it's going to break down tomorrow. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, I'll cut my loss. Um, I don't have that big of a position on it. So poor, super poor execution on that on that one right there. If I would have just let the chart develop, I could have got in up here in the 1180s, 1160s, 1170s, and then covered for a dollar gain on that on this play. So that was a really poor execution right there. And then last one, um, what it was C. CRVS. Now this one is the epitome of a great of a great thesis and a poor execution. Now this is my number one long setup. I love this long setup right here. You have a huge crash. This thing crashed from the from twenty dollars all the way down to eight twenty seven. Now I'm watching this and I'm seeing it bounce and I actually contained myself. I wanted to hop in. I felt like I was missing out right here when it got out, got into the 11s. I almost got in in the 11s. So I helped. So I had some self-control there and then when it started dropping, I thought I was going to put a double bottom in here at 10. And so I got in at 10.20. 10.20 I think. And then the son of a bitch just sold off on me. Now one thing that I did do good is that I knew this thing would get some kind of bounce. I didn't panic. I let I let it sell off. I let it catch a bottom. And then I waited for the bounce for it to come back. But this was a slow, methodical, painful bounce. And as I'm watching it and I'm watching every tick, I remember whenever I seen this one, I thought this one right here, this this I thought this was going to be the beginning of the end. So, actually, it wasn't even that one. It was this one. God, that's how impatient I am. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one right here. So, I thought this was going to be the beginning of the end, and I got in. I got out around, uh, what did I get out at? No, I got it at 970... Nine 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 seventy five actually is what it was nine seventy five. So yeah, I think this dip it dipped down right here and then I got out. I got out right here right before it took off. So I could have actually made a profit on this, but I just I mean look at this. I was just waiting, 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 waiting. And you never know when the bottom's gonna fall out. But if I would have just had two minutes of patience, I would have realized that this thing was gonna. That it, that it wasn't going to put in the double bottom. And really, you can see the double bottom here. It puts the low in at 827, and then it has another low, it has a higher low at 836. Really, when it puts that higher low in, there is your entry right there on this next candle. These next two candles at, eight, at 861, 870, these are your entry points. i got to wait for that. Got to be patient for that. That's tough. That's tough. And... And I've seen this pattern before, but it, getting a good entry is absolutely key to getting the profit here. If you don't get the good entry, you can't make the profit. If I would have got in in the 870s, I mean, you know, you could you could sell at what? I mean, you could sell in the 970s or the 950s, you know. You make a quick 10% in like 15, 20 minutes. 
Um, but because I got such a poor, I was impatient and I just got right in because I was excited about this pattern, I'm excited about the dip buy. I uh, ended up taking a loss on it. I got out in the 970s. I didn't lose a whole lot. I actually made money on the day, but I could have actually made a profit. Um, so, um, good thesis, poor execution um, is a moral of the story. And I've made this mistake before, and I have noticed that, uh, I mean, if you seem to make the same mistake over and over and over, don't feel bad because you're not alone. Uh, I do make the same mistakes quite a bit. I even tell myself, wait for it to put in a lower high, wait for the double bottom. And I get anxious, I get excited, and I want to make money, and I just pull the fucking trigger, and then you end up regretting that shit. So, it's, uh, this game is definitely a mental game. Anyways, so you can see I had some some good thesis ideas, but very poor executions. I could have made way more money, which pretty much every trade I can make made more money, but way more money. But nevertheless, uh, overall, nothing was earth shattering. Definitely a learning experience, as each and every day is. Um, what else? Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I'm done. Peace.